Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Thunder Weekly. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Al Eschbach. And Al, we're at a wonderful Oklahoma family-owned business, Sam's Optical. In fact, the, uh, the glasses I got on are from here and uh, got a lot of compliments on them. Oh, I tell you what, great glasses. I got some glasses from them. They do a great job of, of getting them to fit the right Absolutely. way. And whatever it takes, they will take care of you. It's a great family and fun atmosphere as you can hear the music, see all the posters. Great place to come. A lot of great uh, old stuff in here. Yeah, uh, and the music, they got remember, great yeah. music. Oh, tremendous that stuff. That plays, anybody that comes in can play the jukebox. Plus, they've got all the latest styles for the women and for the men here at Sam's Optical. It's on I-240 and South Walker here in Oklahoma City. And a great place to come and get your frames and your eyewear from all the selections that they have. Al, the... Um, Oklahoma City Thunder have to be disappointed in splitting the first two games. Of oh, no doubt. That's what Memphis, all they said, Memphis, come on, we just need one game. That's all they said. Now, Memphis got the home court uh, in, in the series. And, uh, you know, game two, they, they, you're playing behind, behind, behind the whole game. Well, now, to me, it was the first game, the first half, it was exactly the blueprint to beat Memphis. Right. Get out, right. Run, the, run the ball, attack the basket. And then all of a sudden in the third quarter of the first game, they forget what they were doing. And the Thunder start doing things that they don't normally do, which is jack up bad shots and let Memphis get back in the game. Yeah. On, in the second game, they never attacked the basket. No, no, just uh, very methodical. And uh, give Memphis credit. I mean, Memphis uh, forced the tempo. So yeah. uh, Memphis made some adjustments. The Thunder didn't. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, the Thunder, well, you know, I'm sure Scott Brooks, he said, Go, go, go. And I don't know why the guards and the Oklahoma City Thunder guards, once again, show they can't defend anybody. That, that, is, that is for sure. And we'll talk about all of that and more here on Thunder Weekly from Sam's Optical. Let me tell you about Pro Power Equipment at 7405 South May Avenue, your Honda Power Equipment headquarters. From Honda Walk Behind Mowers to Trimmers, Weed Eaters, and Edgers, Pro Power Equipment has the Honda equipment you need. And also, don't forget about tornado season coming up. Pro Power Equipment has Honda generators, so don't get left without electricity if the tornadoes hit. Go to Pro Power Equipment, 7405 South May Avenue in Oklahoma City, or give them a call at 634-7313. Uh, we'll be back with more here on Thunder Weekly after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eschbach from Sam's Optical. Sam's Optical, I-240 South Walker. Great selection of eyewear for all of, whether you need sunglasses, you need reading glasses, or you need just looking, be able to see driving glasses. They've got the latest in fashion here at Sam's Optical. It's a wonderfully family-owned, an Oklahoma family-owned business that services great customer service here at Sam's Optical. Out. Now that the Thunder are locked in, that they have, they have to be thinking now they have to win a game in Memphis. By the way, we are taping this before the Thursday night game, so what we're talking about in the Memphis games is all speculation on our part, but what do you think they need to do? Shoot the ball. Durant and Westbrook got to shoot the ball better than they're shooting. And I, I don't know what you can do. I mean, I, I don't think it, 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 your guards, maybe, maybe put Cephalosha uh, you know, get him on Conley. Maybe let, try him on Conley. Well, he played in the second game and did a pretty good job. He got a couple turnovers late that allowed him to get back in that game. Yeah, maybe he can do that. I, I don't know what else you can do. Well, I there's mean, certainly one it, thing it, for sure. Jackson, Reggie Jackson, can't stay in front of anybody. Oh, my goodness. He In game two, he was terrible. He is playing himself out of not only a nice free agent contract, but he may be playing himself well, out of a position. Or, 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 what, what killed the, the difference of, of game one and game two, which I hate to simplify, it was the bench. Yes. It was the bench. Oklahoma had City only had one player. Derek Fisher played well in the game. Uh, in game one, Oklahoma City's bench killed Memphis's bench. Game two, totally different. Opposite, you know, and, and, and uh, the bench didn't play well offensively or defensively. No. And uh, so, you know, now you look at it and, and – you know, to to get back to what we were talking about, in the first game, that first half was as good as I have seen the Thunder play this year. Yeah. They, they, were, they yep. were out running, attacking the basket. 
Why don't they do that again? Why don't they? I don't know. Ask Westbrook and Durant. I have no idea why. Why you know why some of the things go on? Obviously, Scott Brooks said we need to do it, and they didn't do it. So, do you blame the players for not? Yes, doing absolutely, it? you do it. If the coach is saying do it, that's what he, he said in the breaks when they recorded it on, on the television monitor. He said we got to get out and push yeah. the ball. Yeah. And what happens? They go down, pull up, and then they settle it for late in the, set, in the shot clock for a for a, a contested shot. Instead of trying to attack the basket, and and, and then you know uh, you know Barkley's getting on Westbrook with too many shots. I don't go with that. Durant was twelve with twenty eight. Westbrook was eleven to twenty eight. So they're basically about the same. Well, you know, okay. Now here's a good point. If Westbrook doesn't shoot, and, he, and, he, and Barkley's point is he would rather see him distribute the ball. Okay, so if Westbrook doesn't shoot, who would you rather see shoot? Cephalosha, <coughs> Perkins. Uh, you know, I mean, those. I don't get. I, I don't. I don't get what Barkley's point is at all. Yeah, he's he, he's he, been on this forever. He's been on it for three or four years yep. because he doesn't think they take. They don't get the ball inside. Well, that's not how this team is constructed. They do not have a back to the basket score. No, they do. And, and they haven't, and it's not going to change this yeah, year. No, I, I I totally agree. I totally so agree. you know, Bar- Barkley. As much as I like Charles Barkley. He just hey, he, Miami doesn't eat it. They won the championship two straight years. And they don't have a back. No, they don't. School. Absolutely no, they don't. Now, the one thing about what Oklahoma City does to make up for that is they attack the back. Yeah, and that's what Durant and Westbrook got to do, attack it and get to the free throw that line. Is, because it does this. If you're not shooting well from the outside and you attack the basket and get fouled, then you get a chance to take free throws to get your well, rhythm. And, and, you and, get a couple of those to go down, you feel better about your shot. I, I thought a key might have been an overtime. A couple, of, Maybe the game was tied and they missed the shot uh, uh, and Randolph, Perkins doesn't get the rebound. Randolph does, puts it in, gets fouled by Perkins. Three-point play. I thought that changed the thing. I mean, and there was another time where Perkins doesn't get a defensive rebound. Yeah, and they were only up one at that time, and, and, and uh, Randolph gets a three-point play. They go up by four. We, we go down and shoot another shot from the outside, bad shot, miss it, and all of a sudden they're up by six. Yeah. And then, then the, they start the, feeling like they the, have to the, force they're it. They're playing catch-up. Catch-up the whole game. Catch, I tell you, you win the game, that series is over with. M- mentally, Memphis would be destroyed. A stupid four-point foul yeah. on uh, to let uh, Durant get four points. What a miracle shot that was. Absolutely. You know, and they gave him a chance, and then Perkins put back, and then in the overtime, they let it get away. Yeah, you thought all, they had all the momentum going into the overtime. Again, give Memphis credit. Yeah, they didn't fold. And, and you know, I tell you what, there's not enough can be said for Tony Allen. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he really. He has kept them yep. in this series yep. with his heart. Yep. With his drive. Yeah, you know, he, he's just a tough defensive player. He is, you know, and, and and as much as we're praising Tony Allen, Kevin Durant still got 36. You're right. You know, so I mean that says a lot for you know Kevin Durant also. But uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit in the next segment about what they need to do when they get to Memphis offensively. But uh, it, there is some head scratching going on. Well, right you, now. you you gotta win one of these games because if you lose two, you're gonna lose a series. Yeah. If you lose two, you gotta beat them three straight times. I don't think that's happening. I don't think it is either. Hey, let me tell you about Top That Pizza in Spring Creek Plaza in Evan. It should be your newest go-to spot for pizza. It's like Subway for pizza. You go in, you get in line, you you pick out your crust, whether there's three or four different kinds of crust. You pick out the sauces from over 30 types of sauces. You pick out your cheese from over 15 types of cheeses, and then your toppings. All that you want, put as much or as little on there as you want, all one price at Top That Pizza on Spring Creek Plaza on 15th Street in Edmond. So go buy Top That Pizza and make your pizza the way you want it at Top That Pizza. You will not be disappointed. It's great pizza at Top That Pizza. We'll be back after this. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eshbeck at Sam's Optical. If you're needing eyewear, Sam's Optical is where you need to come. They've got all the latest in fashions for the ladies. Every top fashion designer has their line here at Sam's Optical. And for the guys like Al and I, they've got great frames that make us look handsome. Absolutely. They all make us look a lot better than we actually are. Yeah, and they're really nice people up here. Oh, yeah, great family atmosphere, and they, they specialize in customer service. You'll never be disappointed with the service at Sam's Optical. Let me tell you also about... EcoTurf. EcoTurf offers reliable ground maintenance at an affordable price. So if you need yard or your business taken care of by professional grounds crew, give EcoTurf a call at 210-7482. 
and also McCaskill Roofing and Construction. They're honest, reliable, locally owned, and they offer free estimates. If you need roofing, give McCaskill a call. They will take care of you in a professional and honest way with free estimates, 301-4051, McCaskill Roofing and Construction, roofing, roofing remodels and new construction with McCaskill Roofing and Construction. Al, um, so we talked about what they need to do, but Scott Brooks has got to be scratching his head. How do I get my guys to, to pay attention and to push that ball when he's tried to do it the last game and a half? Well, what, what, what's happened, what, what's tough, Oklahoma City's not getting turnovers, yeah. so that hurts. And then if you're not getting defensive rebounds, you, you can't, can't push run. it. You can't run. So, now, do, does that mean that you, do you look at personnel? I mean... Obviously, he's not happy with Reggie Jackson because he benched him in the second half. Yeah. You know, and put with Derek Fisher. And Derek played pretty good, but, you know, he's not – I don't know that he's a 25-minute a second-half kind of guy. No, I don't you know. know. I, I don't know what you do. with two minutes. The problem what happened in, in game two, Karan Bowe didn't play well. And he had a great game one. He'd been playing really well. That that really hurt them in game two. You know, so they're, they're going to have to re, uh, revamp the lineup. They're going to have to really emphasize pushing the ball. And I think they really, I mean, Gasol and Randolph haven't hurt them. It's the penetration with Conley and, and, and Udra that got those shots, you know, in, 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 in a way that they're, they're not hitting three-pointers. So why guard them out there? Make them come inside. You know, and, and guard them there so that they... Well, that's what happened. Usually, right, went to the basket. I mean, and he, he just and, and hit short jumpers. Got, you're just getting by guys. Well, and, you know, the way that they have to defend the pick and roll a little different because, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to come over the top of the pick and roll. And when you do that, the, the guy's going to pick you off. You know, so if they go under and make them shoot that outside shot, see what happens. They got to do something a little different. Yeah, you got to try something. I don't know. I mean, it, it, again, though, it's going to be uh, simplified things. Karan Butler got to play from, you know, Brooks can't do nothing about that. Brooks, I mean, Karan Butler got to play like he did in game one. Well, how, how does he? How do you do that? I mean, I, I think he and, does come back. He's a veteran, and I think he'll come back. I, think, I don't know about Reggie Jackson. I don't know about Reggie Jackson. See either. that? See, and that's 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 going to put a lot of pressure on Derek Fisher because Fisher is not really a driver. He's not, you know, he doesn't. No. He he likes to spot up, take that three point shot, and he's smart enough to go in when he needs to. But you know, Reggie Jackson is is one of the better finishers on the Thunder. You know, I mean, second only to Westbrook. You know, when you get into the basket yeah. to finish, and he hasn't been able to no, do anything. No, he just and it, it, it it's mystifying and. The, he, he, and as you said earlier, you know, Scott Brooks yanked him out of it because of his defense. Yeah, you know, he just he couldn't stay in front of Udris, and, and, and that, that's what, I mean, that 14 points was a huge deal. He didn't get any in the first game. I know, I know. And, uh, and all of a sudden, the second game, he's, he's all caught. I got cut by the Knicks. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't even on a roster tell you? two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, you know, the other thing I want to talk about is Scott Brooks is going to have to come up with something to shake Tony Allen off of Durant a little better. He can't do anything. What are you going to do? You got to set better screens. You got to set better screens. I, don't, I I mean I don't I mean I don't I think it's up to Durant, not Scott Brooks. I think it's up to Durant. Well, see now how many times I Go to the basket. Go to the basket, Kevin, instead there, of there set were, up a jump shot. There were four times though that they tried to get the ball to Durant that Tony Allen either intercepted it or deflected it. And I don't know if that's Durant not wanting to and demanding the ball enough and squaring out and keeping Tony Allen off to the side and making him foul you to get through or what. But I mean that's huge. I know, but but give, again, Tony Allen is a great defensive player. Yeah. Uh, so, how, how about more Westbrook Durant action there on a pick and roll instead of involving the other guys? And that way, if if Tony Allen does come, stay with Durant, Westbrook's wide open. I mean, they've got to do something a little different. I, I don't know the answer. I'm not smart uh, 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 enough to know uh, uh, the I know what the answer is. Have him play go like he did in game one. Yeah, that, that would be the nice answer because that first half was as good as they have played all year. But, again, years. if Memphis keeps on making shots uh, and they're not turning the ball over, it's almost impossible to run. Well, you know, but they're not going to continue to make the shots. They had Their, their bench is not going to score again like that. You wouldn't I don't think, think so. You I don't think. You wouldn't think so. But, again, it, it shows you the defensive problems Oklahoma City's had 
uh, late in the second half of the year. That's right. Hey, Pro Power Equipment is your Honda outdoor equipment dealer. From walk behind mowers to trimmers, edgers, and weed eaters, Pro Power Equipment has the best selection of Honda equipment. Buy where the pros buy. That's Pro Power Equipment, 7405 South May Avenue. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to the final segment of Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Al Eschbach from Sam's Optical. Great place. If you need eyewear, you cannot do better than coming to Sam's Optical on I-240 and South Walker here in Oklahoma City. They also have an Edmond location. You need to find out about Sam's Optical. They have all the latest in fashions for the ladies and for the guys. I've got some wonderful outdoor rugged uh, Sunglasses, Al's got some great glasses here from Sam's Optical. They do a great job. They make sure they fit right and they, you never leave until you're comfortable with your eyewear here at Sam's Optical. Also, I want to thank some wonderful sponsors of Thunder Weekly Trails Golf Club in Norman. The Trails is a great place for you and your family this spring and summer. They have spring and summer uh, specials going on right now. Give Kathy Hess a call at 364-3790. They have a great championship golf course they have a family atmosphere they have a pool they have lots of social activities all available at the trails golf club give them a call today talk to kathy s at 364-3790 also eco turf offers reliable ground maintenance at an affordable price if you need your yard or your business taken care of by a professional grounds crew give eco turf a call at 210-7482 top that pizza also top that pizza on 5th Street, 15th Street in Edmonton, Spring Creek Plaza. Great place for pizza. The newest place to go for pizza. It's got a whole new way of serving pizza. You go down the line, you pick out your crust out of four or five different kinds of crust. You pick out your sauces from over 30 sauces. You pick out the cheese from tons of cheeses. All of that and all of your toppings, all at one low price at Top That Pizza. They also have a great personal pan pizza special. $5.99 for your own personal, and it's not any personal pan pizza, it's all the ingredients you like and as much as you like at Top That Pizza on 15th Street in Edmond. Go there, they also have great salads, they also have great appetizers, and they have a great kids, kids menu too. The kids love to pick out their own ingredients on their own pizza at Top That Pizza in Edmond. Also McCaskill Roofing and Construction, honest, reliable, locally owned, and offering free estimates. If you need roofing, give McCaskill Roofing a call at 301-4051. McCaskill Roofing and Construction, roofing remodels and new construction. Also, I want to wish a happy anniversary to Scott and Teresa Edwards. Eight great years of marriage and looking forward to a lifetime and more. Happy anniversary, Scott and Teresa. Al, let's talk about uh, the rest of the matchups in the NBA and the playoffs. Miami is back, and they look as good as they have. Yeah, you got Dwayne Wade playing well. and uh, Boy, does he make a difference oh in that goodness, team of what? So much makes a difference. I mean, they're just they're really good. Well, you know, and, and we, we kept saying, wow, they're, you know, what's wrong with Wade? With Wade? What's wrong with Wade? He just needed a rest. Yeah, he had you a know? hamstring problem uh, late in the year, and jeez, uh, he's good. Yeah, he is. Uh, Indianapolis, Atlanta, geez, how can a team that looked so good the start of the year look so bad now? They're bad. I they mean, are. They, they are. They got. They got major problems. I mean, it's like it's like a putter, you know, a golfer with the yips, putting yips. I mean, he looks at every putt and thinks he can't make it. They look at every shot and go, "Oh, I can't make that." And it looks like they got some internal problems. Yeah, they got some problems there, big time. Somebody is gonna. There's gonna be somebody gone. Yeah, like could be coach. Vogel. 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 <laughs> it could be Vogel. Vogel will be gone. Yeah. There'll, there'll be a the long list of coaches that are gone. Yeah, this there's year. gonna be a lot of changeover, mm -hmm. a lot of turnover. Uh, already has been some, but there's gonna be more. Now, I, I gotta ask you. There was a rumor out there that Scott Brooks may be, you know, if they, if they get beat by Memphis in the first round. Do you have any credence in that? Zero chance of that. Just, there was a rumor out what, there. What, did some guy in a bar start? <laughs> I, I heard mean, it on the way home. No. Uh, that, that was, there were some things on the internet. That's, that's the only thing I was yeah, talking about. I mean, so. it, there's zero, I mean, yeah. zero chance of that. They had, they had the second best record in the NBA this year. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, yeah. they do have to do some tweaking, but anyway. Uh, Chicago, Washington. No matter what happens in that, Washington has shown that they're for real. 
No doubt. They got a great backcourt in the Nay, uh, really good big man. Gortat, what a great Gortat what a great picking great him pick up. up that was. Yeah, that, that, that organization has done a great job. They have. From the days the old Wizards when they get, you know gave some really bad contracts and everything, or test and those. No, I mean, absolutely yeah. tremendous. They were the done. first one they gave uh, Howard. What was his name? The, the, the Michigan. The yeah, Michigan from player. Michigan, yeah. yeah. They gave him a $17 million yeah. a year contract. Yeah. They, they did some incredibly stupid things. Yes. I think Rashad Lewis got a, you know, was there, and they just did some really bad things. But, you know, Washington's done a good job. Uh, Nets, Raptors, looks like the Nets say, hey, it's our turn. Well, yeah, and I think I picked the Nets to win this thing. Uh, they're, they're, you know what, and remember, they swept Miami this year. That would be a, that'd be good to see them. In the West, the Spurs look like they'll handle the Mavs pretty easy. Yeah. I, now, the yeah. Mavs played well the first game, but they just, I mean, at the end, they win. just didn't have enough. It's a win. Yeah. Uh, Clippers back. They look really, really good. Made a really statement. Go, okay, yeah. come on, yeah, uh, this Golden is, State. This is not going to happen yeah. again. And Houston Portland looks like it may go seven. Yeah, that's a great series. That is, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, how good is he? I love Mar- he, LaMarcus Aldridge. He, and, a, you know, and Dwight Howard is, is saying the right things about coming back and dominating. Yeah. You know, James Harden had a bad game. D- Damian Lillard showing Boy, he's he good, can, isn't he? He can be an all-star Woo! for a long time. He's Second really year good. Guy. All right, that's going to do it for Thunder Weekly. For Rick Heath, Al Eshbeck, look for us on Facebook and YouTube at Joe Fan Sports. For Al Eshbeck, I'm Rick Heath. We'll see you next time on Thunder. This had an answer all night. A quick 6-0 run. Al, I got a piece of that one. Almost out of bounds. Somehow, Durant lets it go. Oh, Kevin Durant. A chance at four. And Mike Conley Jr. was questioning whether or not Russell Westbrook had gone out of bounds after the deflection there. Didn't look like he had gone out, and now you have to confirm the three-point. Looked like he was behind the line here. Let's see here. Westbrook was not out. Yes, clearly a three. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me?